Hi guys, Teresa here. I wanted to do a video tutorial on this multicolor swipe technique I did recently. It got a lot of positive feedback from our art group as well as questions on uh, the technique and the colors used and all of that fun stuff. So hopefully this will help you guys out and y'all could achieve this look for yourself so as you can see i already have the paint down on the canvas sorry guys this is my first video so a couple hiccups are expected and it didn't record but basically i put down all of the paint uh, any which way you want fill your canvas all in with the different color paints make sure they are close and touching one another and you're all set You'll see me right now laying down my first swipe color in small, maybe two, two and a half inch sections. That first color with, was Ultramarine Blue by Liquitex. The second swipe color will be Dioxazine Purple. That one is by Artist Loft Level 3. This next one is Paleo Green. That is by Liquitex. This one here is Blue Turquoise by Liquitex. This red here is a mixture of folk art, true red. It's just a bright red. Uh, this next one is Magenta by Liquitex. This orange is another folk art, pure orange. Very bright, pretty orange. And this last one is Cadmium Yellow, and that one is by Liquitex. So you notice I used three different types of paint. Um, paint brand doesn't matter as much as consistency. Consistency, of course, is where it is at. Our consistency for our canvas base paints are going to be the consistency of warm honey whereas our swipe colors are going to be the consistency of a French dressing. So if you get the consistency right, you should be right on. So practice makes perfect. It took me a while to get consistency down, but if you stick with that uh, thought of warm honey, French dressing, you should be gold. So you see me swiping here. What I'm using to swipe is wax paper just straight out of the kitchen cut to size um, I find I can control it much better and since we are swiping in individual sections as opposed to one color across the entire canvas we do need a smaller item or tool rather to swipe with and you notice after I swipe each time I am I'm going to wipe the paper. We don't want to put paint on top of paint because we'll end up with a muddy mess and ruin all of our work. I'm just touching up the sides there. Sometimes those can be a little tricky, but touch them up lightly and we're good to go. Now I do have a wet rag there that I'm wiping on, so if you want to do that, that's really beneficial. Um, you can wipe on your paper or whatever liner you have underneath your canvas. If you have that, that'll work too. I actually lay down this really thick brown packing paper. You can buy it by the roll, um, Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you shop for your supplies. And if you notice, whenever I'm swiping, I do apply very light, gentle, pressure with my fingers that is just to distribute uh, even pressure along the paint line to ensure that as I swipe down the swipe color will come with it but not swiping so hard as to pull the paints off the canvas so again this is just practice guys practice makes perfect just do it until you get it right that's exactly how I did it and how everyone else does it so don't get discouraged um, I picked up this this hobby I want to say um, 
just to simply relax and it has done wonders for me it is relaxing it's uh it's rewarding too it's exciting when you get a technique and it comes out like uh you've seen on many youtube videos you're you're really excited but i can tell you anything that i've ever envisioned in my head never has really quite turned out on canvas but that's okay because I'm usually happy with the result even though it wasn't what what was in my mind's eye when it comes out it's like wow that's really neat I didn't think it was going to look like that but hey that works too and that's the whole premise of painting I do believe your painting turns out according to, to your mood and your feelings and I guess maybe your energy that you put into it too so just keep that in mind relax with it don't be too critical it's all gonna work out and if it doesn't it's just paint just swipe it off and start again now at the bottom here you see I'm gonna kind of curve that paper down just slightly a bit that is just to encourage that little last bit of paint to fall down our sides I like my sides completed and finished and if I can get the paint drips to go down the sides that's just even better it, it just makes it so cohesive and pretty so I'm gonna continue swiping guys um, you can fast forward I'll speed this up a little bit and we'll get to the end result You see me completing the last swipe and I'm just going to touch up the edges a bit just to encourage that paint to go over the sides you'll see me coming in in just a second with a torch to pop any air bubbles that we might have and then that's it we just leave the canvas to dry and you can enjoy your beautiful piece of art 
Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out and answered some questions. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I will list all the painting colors and my painting recipes to mix all the paint. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.